Alrighty, so I'm going to be doing a really quick video on the unicycle again. It looks like I might have forgot to uh, hook up one of my battery packs. When I uh, turned this, the Tesla on, I got like 66% power. And when I go to charge it up, this happens. The, uh, the charger doesn't really turn on. When I plug mine in, I always leave, uh, I always leave it plugged into like a, a surge protector and I have it off. Um, I'm a little paranoid with like arcing and stuff, so I like to have it all hooked up and if there's any arc, it'll do it at the surge protector. So yeah, right there, 84.5 and it's not drawing any amps. It's 100% uh, charged. So, uh, yeah, it totally looks like I forgot to uh, plug one of my battery packs in, so don't do that. Uh, one of the things I wanted to cover really, really quick in this video is uh, these pads. You have to lift up or, you know, pull over to get off. And I have had these pads completely off. I've ripped the rubber or whatever, you know, whatever they use, rubber cement, it seems like. Uh, I've ripped that off several times and um, I'm sure there's a bunch of spray adhesives that work really well. This last time, um, here let me show you, um, I've been using Flex Seal um, only because I have it laying around and uh, I just wanted to see. But this last time I used it, I, uh, I must have got, got it really, really good because this pad is on here really good. It, it's on here so much I'm kind of afraid to pull it off anymore because uh, I think the pad might rip. But anyway, I can fold these ends up nice and easy now and get that off and it looks like uh, I can get that one too so I won't have to pull the whole thing off and re-glue it. And hopefully I can do the same on the other side. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take this off. Uh, I'll probably have to take both sides off. I don't know which battery is unplugged. But uh, yeah, enough about that. I'm going to pull this apart and uh, see which one I forgot. So catch you guys in the next one. Well, that's not a good sign. It looks like uh, the battery is definitely plugged in. And, uh, yeah, everything is all hooked up. I'm going to grab a multimeter and try to dig into this. This is really not cool. So I'm just going to unhook the batteries, check these connections, and uh, see what kind of power we have. So uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, so um, everything tests good. Uh, I have no idea why it doesn't seem to uh, why it doesn't want to seem to identify the other battery. 
or that it's fully charged. But uh, as long as it has that much power, I guess it's all right. And uh, it isn't like anything could be un unhooked or unconnected. This is the power from the other battery. You know, power was checked there, and then the harness was double checked across both ends. Both the batteries have been checked. Everything's been checked. So, yeah, I have uh, no clue. If anybody else has an has an idea, uh, yeah, let me know. But there's no uh, there's no connectors, or at least nothing I can see that isn't hooked up. There's uh, these connectors that come off the battery for uh, charging for the different cells, but there's uh, nothing that I know of to plug them into. But I could be wrong. I might have to take uh, take a better look at some stuff here. I might even have to uh, pop the battery off and have a look at the circuit board just to be sure. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, I'm going to just put this back together, and uh, it is what it is. Take it out for another ride. It, it's weird that it doesn't it doesn't want to charge, and it shows only 66% of the uh, battery charge when it's on. So I'm going to end it here. If I if uh, I figure it out or uh, find out that I you know missed a connector or something, I'll let you know. But battery 62%. Phone battery, 88%. Ooh, alrighty. I think I uh, might have found what the problem is. Uh, I should have took a little bit better look at this. There's uh, this wiring harness goes to the circuit board. I can't tell you exactly where. I know the camera's not going to pick this up very well. But uh, this is just a little two-prong connector. And uh, you can see on both of your batteries you have, like, what is that, a four-pin? and a two pin so that two pin will fit right into here and then on your other battery you have the same thing and uh... Let me, trying to be real right, so hard to do this without dropping batteries anyway you have the same thing with basically like a splice built into it so obviously both of these need to be plugged in to that uh... Thick wi thicker wire loom on the circuit board this one right here. So I can either try and shove this over here or try to get that other battery uh, cable through here to the other side. And I'll tell you what, I have big fingers and stuff. It is no easy task for me. Uh, right there I can touch both my fingers. I don't know if I can uh, fish this wire through or not. And uh, as I'm doing this, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, how well I got everything together. This is the only thing I missed. Actually, I'm kind of uh, talking ahead of myself. I don't know if this is a problem, but it definitely seems like it might be. Uh, let's see, I'll just try to do this first and then try to organize the other stuff. Um, a really good trick, which uh, I don't have right now, but uh, a pair of tweezers makes something like this a lot easier. I can't even... I'll admit, I'll be a little disappointed if this doesn't fix it. But yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to be able to fish this through. A pain in the butt. Got it. It's interesting that I had everything in the right place. Everything else was in the right place, that just wasn't hooked up. So here's the wire loom. Here's this. Both of these have to be hooked up. I have to hook the one up to the battery. I have to get both of these. There's the other end. These are all spliced together, so it does not matter how you plug it in. Where is it? Here it is. 
So here's a quick note on the batteries. The, uh, the Gotway, the label, that goes, uh, that faces down and the padding goes on the outside. Makes sense, that's where you're going to take the impact. Thank you. That's it. That should do it. Alright, this isn't really tucked in here too nice. I was just trying to get it together. Wow, this is like, this is a joke. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do this. Hopefully I don't get hurt. So, turn this puppy on. Alrighty, so, uh, 62% now, that's weird, but anyway, that did not fix it, as far as I can tell. I'm going to plug the charger back in really quick and see what happens. Let's turn this off. Whew. Alrighty, so, uh. I guess I'm still troubleshooting this. I have the charger plugged in. Let me uh, see if it'll charge up now. Oh my god, thank god. So now the charger's working. Awesome. 78.5, wow. Unbelievable. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you uh, have that plugged in. I'm gonna shut this down, put everything back together, and we can charge this back up. I can't wait to take the Tesla out with a, uh, with a full charge. I, I, uh, last time I was out, there were a couple big hills, and uh, I thought it was, was acting a little weak, so I'm really happy. This should be, this should be fixed, and uh, just goes to show you that you should uh, definitely take your time to take stuff apart. Don't be like me. I'm a little sloppy with it, but uh, at least I learned something here. It's a really simple mistake to make and uh, I'm not going to beat myself up too badly about it. It's a mistake anybody can make. It just happens. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.